Hello. Today we'll be talking about Charles Gas Law. And Charles Law states that when the temperature increases, the volume will increase as well. Think of a hot air balloon. The hot air balloon is going to rise up to the sky when you add up heat at the bottom of the balloon, and that eventually is going to increase and expand the volume of the balloon. Therefore, Charles Law states that when you increase the temperature, you will increase the volume, it becomes larger. So, we look at temperature 2, volume 1 equals volume 2, temperature 1. Having this straight line equation, I could always solve for either one of them, and I could bring the T2 to the bottom, and I could say now that volume 1 equals the multiplication of V2, that's volume 2, times temperature 1 divided by temperature 2. In the same way, I could bring the volume 1 to the bottom, and I could say that the temperature 2 is equals to the multiplication of volume 2, temperature 1, and volume 1, divided by volume 1. Okay, let's bring this up, and let me bring V2 down. Okay, by bringing the second temperature to the bottom, okay, let's bring this over here, equal sign. I could now safely say that temperature 2 times volume 1 e divided by volume 2 equals temperature 1. Let's bring this up. And let's do one more. T1 to the bottom. Temperature 2 times volume 1 divided by T1, that's temperature 1, equals volume 2. Okay. It's equally important to say that the temperature will be worth in kelvins okay if the question gives you the term the temperature in fahrenheit or celsius make sure that you convert that into kelvins in order to work it out let's look at a sample first sample says that the temperature the celsius temperature of a 5.14 liter that's volume anything liter is volume gas is reduced from 58.2 to 14.4 celsius let me make a list of what i have okay i have my t2 i have my t1 i have volume probably and i have volume probably okay the temperature will be reduced, okay, from 58, that is your beginning, because it went from 58.2, 58.2 Celsius plus 273 to make it a Kelvin. That gives me 331.2 Kelvins. Therefore, it is reduced from 331 Kelvins to 14.4 Celsius. It ended up in 14.4 plus 273. That would give me 287.4 Kelvins. Okay, let's keep reading. The first line says that the Celsius of a temperature is was um, 58, and it also was at a volume of 5.14. Volume 1, 5.14 liters. What will be the resulting volume, resulting the ending? That will be my question mark, resulting question mark. Okay, so let's work for this. Based on what I know from the equation, I could say that T2 times V1 divided by T1 would equal V2. Plug in my values now. I would say... 287.4, 287.4 times volume 1, which is 5.14, divided by 331.2. Therefore, I multiply 
to 87.4 times 5.14 divided by 331.2. My answer will be 4.46 liters. That's the response to this question. When the temperature was lower to 14.4 from 58.2, at a beginning volume of 5.14 or 5.14, my resulting volume would be 4.46. Make sure that you work out this this equation, this Charles Law equation in kelvins, okay, instead of degrees Celsius or instead of Fahrenheit. I hope this helps you.